Laura, thank you. Outlook for tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And have and a lovely couple of weeks. The only weather off. forecast I'm interested in is Beverly Hills, California, where I will be ding today. <laughs> now it's time for Lorraine. Don't miss me too much. Oh, we'll try not to fear. Thank you very much indeed. And join me after the break. Rosemary Shager is right here telling us what it's like working with our very own John Waite. And sticking with our chefs, Dean's in the kitchen for us today. What have you got Good for Good morning, us? Lorraine. Well, I'm putting a twist on a classic dish for you today, and I'm cooking a Greek pasta bake. A Greek pasta bake? Mmm, that'll be good. Now, as well as that, do you remember this story? Really interesting story. White women, white American women, who made headlines after pretending to be black. Well, two years on, the former black rights activist, she's ready to set the record straight for us, and she joins me live. And with two acts left in the competition, Jennifer Hudson is right here ahead of this weekend's Voice final, and really looking forward to this. She's going to be performing her new single for us as well. Who cares? What you see is what you get. Looking good, feeling good with Lorraine. Sponsored by Delve Hair Care. Hello there, good morning to you. Now coming up this morning, well, she made headlines all over the world. We're going to be talking to the black rights activist who was revealed to be actually white. Also, our very important parts campaign continues at 8.40. We meet the woman who beat ovarian cancer after being diagnosed on her 25th birthday. Then at 9 o'clock, Dean is making a simple pasta bake that's just perfect for a midweek meal. And ahead of the voice final, that's this weekend of course, Jennifer Hudson is with me live and she's going to be performing for us at the end of the show. Like, take charge of it, so you know, really enjoy it. 